Hey guys, this is Jerry. Welcome to the channel. Today I'll show you how to connect your MG iSmart app to your MG4 electric vehicle. This video will have quite a few different parts. First part, I'll show you how to download the app, register your account, find the QR code, and in case you can't find the QR code, what you need to do. Next, I'll show you the Excite and Essence version for the connection. As always, you can find the timestamps down below if you want to skip forward. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe and like. That would be really helpful for the channel. For all MG Tutor videos, please search everything on my channel as well. First thing is how to download the app. On your Android smartphones, you need to find the Play Store. On your iPhone, you need to go to the App Store. Go into the App Store, and you can just type MG iSmart. Normally, it should come up. If it doesn't, just keep typing. You need to find the name MG iSmart app, AU and NZ over here. So now we want to install, obviously. Press this to install. While we're doing the installation, something is for you to know. If you do not see this result came up, you need to change the location of your Google account or iPhone account. On your Google accounts, just change the location to New Zealand or Australia for you to find this app on your App Store. On your iPhone Store, make sure you change the location to either Australia or New Zealand to be able to find this app. If you're in different markets and driving a different version of the vehicle, not from New Zealand or Australia, if you, even if you download this app, you will not be able to use. Now the download is done, we can just click open to start the app. And all we need to do, just agree to most of the things. It will also ask you, do you want to allow your notifications, stuff like that? It's up to you to whether to say yes or no. Click start, we'll go into the app. If you haven't reached the account, this is what you want to do to register. Click the left bar on the top. If you have an account already, just press the login to log in the account. If you do not have an account at all, just click register. What you want to do, you want to type your email address on the top. After the bar lights up, click send. That will send an email to your email address. The email will come from Psych email. That means get the verification code, type it in over here, type your password. The password has to be eight to 16 digits, letters, including alphabets and numbers. Then confirm your password. Simply click the agree term and then press register. Your account will be on your phone. Once this is the logged in, this will be how it looks like. When you click the bar, there's no login function anymore. Go to the remote control, you will be able to connect or find the QR code. And now all you need to do to bring the camera up is to press the anywhere on the functions, find my car, swap the screen left and right, or click the MG logo, you see the vehicle management, click add vehicle. It'll ask you, is that okay for me to use the photo or camera? Just press while using the app. Then you find this QR code scanner. All you need to do is just find the QR code. All right, next, we'll go to the Excite screen to find the QR code. All you need to do is just click the setting or swipe left and then click the setting. Under the setting, we want to go all the way down, you find bind vehicle. Under bind vehicle, click the bind vehicle first, then click the top bind vehicle. Just like that, the QR code comes in. On your phone, just press the name again, press the add vehicle, then scan the QR code, just like that, instant. You want to type a security code. This is the code you will need to control the vehicle. So type a four digits. I'm going to do a random one over here. Don't copy my OVC. There we go. Now it's connected to the MG4 Excite system. Next, to find the QR code on your Essence, click left. And then we want to go to user. Click user. The QR code will ultimately show up. This QR code is actually not the connection QR code just yet. I'll explain that. There are two ways. One way is you can do account logging. Obviously, phone number is actually not available. Uh, so you do need to type your email address, type your password to log in to this particular screen. To easy login, you actually have to go back to scan it. I would recommend to use this way because account login, you have to type a lot of information. So all we need to do, we want to go to the smartphone again and again type the code on the top, tap to add vehicle and scan that QR code. Now that's logged in actually. So logging first, that means it's going to log in your email address onto this device first. It's not connected straight away just yet. 
After that, we want to click connect vehicle over here. So click connect vehicle, it will show two QR code. First QR code is to download the app. We don't want to scan that. We have got the app running on the phone. Second QR code is to connect the vehicle. So tap to add the vehicle again and scan this QR code. Occasionally, because this is a small image, it takes quite a while. So try a few times, zoom in, zoom out. Next, we want to do our security code. You can do whatever you like to be four digits. I'm going to do 1111 over here. You don't, don't copy me, obviously. Do your own things. Now, that's connected. This shows our vehicle. When you go back, there are all, of, all the other functions that's available to see our vehicle, to control our vehicle, if you wish to. At this stage, the QR code automatically will log out because you have logged in on your phone what i want to do normally you want to scan the qr code again so we can re-log in so we can have access to a few more features so again you can do account login by typing the email address typing the password it's a little bit difficult what i would do is to just press the mg4 electric on the, on the top again press plus scan the qr code just press login just like that your phone stays connected but it will log into the same thing then that will allow you to control a few more features which I'm going to show you in another video all right if you scan the QR code and it does not work or you cannot find the QR code this is what you want to do there are two steps you need to do and you need to make sure both are correct first thing swap the screen to left we are going to go to the setting menu this is not an essence screen by the way the excite screen will be similar next we want to go to general and then you'll find the date and time right now. So the date and time has to match whatever on your phone. Right now on the phone, the time is 4.40 in the afternoon. This is 4.40 as well. Doesn't matter what time zone you are selecting. Doesn't matter if you use GPS time or not. You always have to make sure your time is same with the, the phone. If the time is not with, correct with the phone, it's the QR code scanning does not work at all. Next, we want to go all the way down to go to privacy notice. Under the privacy notice, you always have to make sure you agree to the first term of the IMG iSmart. Additionally, on the particular essence spec, you also have to agree a few more functions to use other things. But anyway, the basic thing, you have to agree to the terms and conditions to use the function on the iSmart system. And the last part, I'll show you how to disconnect your mobile phone to this particular vehicle. First thing you want to do, as obviously this is connected, you just tap the MG name on the top. All you do, just click unbind. Click unbind, it will send you a notification or send you an email to your email address. For example, I'll press send to my private email address. Just like that. So now you want to get the security code or veri verification code. Tap it here, click unbind, that will be done. unbind that's gone so now it's unbind successfully and all we go back there's no binding information on your screen it will also give you a small notification it says this is unbind successfully as well currently at least at least at this stage there's no unbind function that you can use on the vehicle so you have to go to your phone to unbind on your phone unless some dealership may be able to do a hard fully reset for the screen to be able to take out the unbind by this stage the screen does not allow you to unbind from the screen so to speak all right that's it hope you enjoyed the contents if you do please subscribe and like that would be really helpful for the channel i will see you next video